I realized that we had probably pulled the wool over the American people's eyes and certainly over the international community's eyes. And so I felt pretty low about it. I wish I had resigned. One of the things that disturbs me most about this is that the same tactics are being used as were used in 2002 and early 2003 with regard to Iraq. The same people, the same tactics, the same litany, the same strategy, the same everything. And yet there seems to be, uh, as Gore Vidal called the American people, uh, we are the United States of amnesia. There seems to be no reasonable attitude out there about this that, hey, we've seen this before. We do not need to do this again. We've been at war for 17 years now, but that's the problem we have in this country. No one remembers these things. No one associates them with the present or the future. And we keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again. Indeed, the facts and Iraq's behavior show that Saddam Hussein and his regime are concealing their efforts to produce more weapons of mass destruction. When I listened to him present, I realized that the six days and seven nights that we spent preparing his presentation had not allowed me to look at the whole thing, to understand exactly what he was saying, particularly the part where he connected the 9-11 attacks, Al-Qaeda, the terrorist organization, with Saddam Hussein, which I and others in the intelligence community knew was a real stretch. So this was bogus information we were putting out at the United Nations, and Richard Cheney, the vice president, and George Tenet, the DCI, knew that it was bogus information and never told the Secretary of State. It was uh, one of the lowest points, if not the lowest points, in my professional life. And Powell has said, I shall ever be, ever be remembered for that moment at the United Nations talking about Iraq's WMD. I suspect he's right. My fellow citizens, at this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. This decision in 2003 to invade Iraq was, will be, ever interpreted by historians as a catastrophic strategic mistake. What we did when we invaded Iraq was violate 40 plus years of U.S. foreign and security policy. We destroyed the balance of power in the Persian Gulf. And we started what is going on now and probably will be going on for years to come, this massive chaos, killing, death, starvation, states failing and so forth, Syria, Libya, Iraq, and possibly Lebanon, maybe Jordan. What we have is chaos and we produce that chaos. Just as sure as we produced the chaos, we produced ISIS. We produced all of this by that really unwise decision in 2003 to invade Iraq. The campaign to convince the American people to support the war in Iraq, which was quite effective, and when you consider it was built on a house of lies, it was quite effective. Iran is not this kind of threat that we're saying she is. They don't even have nuclear weapons. Israel is sitting on top of two or 300 nuclear weapons. <laughs> it may deny it all day long, but it's got nuclear weapons. So Iran does not have nuclear weapons. And in my consideration, it stopped trying to build nuclear weapons early in the 2000s. I think there's a real problem in this country right now with the fact that we've been at war for 17 years. Less than 1% of the country is bleeding and dying for the other 99%. Those young men and women come from the less affluent and the less educated. They come from the poor. That's who's fighting your wars for you right now. And there may be many people out there who will say, thank you for your service, but what you're really doing is assuaging your own guilt because that's what we've been doing for 17 years. We need to stop doing this. As a young man, 21 years old, I went to war in Vietnam. I went to a war that was built on lies. As an older man, I was chief of staff at the State Department and watched another war unfold, built on lies, the war with Iraq. Now we are getting ready to go to war with another country, Iran, on another house of lies. We need to prevent that.